Hello, thank you for watching another great Fat Vegan Chef video. I think this next one is going to be something that is going to help create many romantic memories for you. For many of my years as a chef, I worked at Italian restaurants and one of the most popular dishes was chicken marsala. It was usually either made with a cream sauce or a butter sauce and I actually preferred the butter sauce. So I have taken that recipe and I have veganized it for you. And this recipe is for two people. So now let's go ahead and make this. The tools that you're going to need to make this dish are a cutting board with a damp towel underneath, a knife, measuring cups, measuring spoons, some tongs, a spoon, a saute pan, a pot with a lid, a strainer, and then also I'm using another smaller um, saute pan with a lid, but you can use any container with a lid. And you'll also need um, some kind of like a Tupperware dish or something like that as well. The ingredients that you're going to need to make my vegan chicken marsala and butter sauce are one cup of flour, white, one quarter teaspoon of sea salt, one quarter teaspoon of fresh ground black pepper, one quarter teaspoon of white pepper, one package or four each of the Guardian chicken scallopinis. This is what they look like. They'll, they'll be in the frozen food section. Look for them. You also need two tablespoons of 80-20 oil. And this is basically 80 parts of regular vegetable oil and 20 parts of extra virgin olive oil. And basically what you can do if you can't find 80-20, use about a tablespoon and a half of vegetable oil and half a tablespoon of olive oil and it will be about the equivalent to that. You'll need a quarter teaspoon of dried oregano a quarter teaspoon of dried basil, a pinch or so of white pepper, a pinch or so of fresh ground black pepper, a teaspoon of minced garlic, one cup of fresh sliced button mushrooms, a quarter cup of fresh sliced green onions, about an eighth of a teaspoon of vegetable base, two tablespoons of butter, one cup of marsala wine and about one cup or so of vegan fettuccine or bird nest pasta read the ingredients make sure they don't have eggs and you want to cook this according to the package directions minus 30 seconds to a minute now that you know what ingredients you need and what tools you'll need go ahead and go out and purchase them pause or pause the video first and then go out and purchase them and uh, come back when you're ready to cook. Welcome back everybody. I have my water boiling in the back to cook my fettuccine and I've got it salted like it would be BC. So like I said you want to cook it according to the directions minus 30 seconds to a minute. After it's cooked you want to drain it really good and then cool it down and then bring another pot back up to boil. So that's uh, going on in the back. Let's go ahead and start the actual chicken dish. So what we'll do is we've got our flour here. Go ahead and add our salt and our peppers. And then either with a fork or by hand, you can go ahead and stir this and get this incorporated into the uh, one cup of white flour and basically just take your thought out chicken scallopinis from Gardein and lightly flour. Now that I have these floured, I'm going to go ahead and meet you at the stove. So let's go ahead and go on over there. I have my pasta par cooked. I have a pan in the back or a pot in the back of the stove heating back up to reheat the pasta when it's time to serve. 
have my saute pan heating up as well and it is about ready to go so what I'm going to do is go ahead and put in the 80-20 oil and spread this all along the pan as you can see the oil is hot next thing I'm going to do is carefully put in the vegan chicken and what we're going to do is we're going to uh, lightly dust off any excess flour on the chicken and carefully put it in the pan and we're going to brown it on either side so it's kind of a light brown and we're only going to flip this once so once it's in the pan it's going to stay in the pan we're going to flip it and then I have this other pan right here and this can be any container with a lid uh, and this will keep the chicken warm while we finish up the uh, sauce so basically we're going to cook the chicken until it's brown and then we'll uh, um, cook the sauce and when the sauce is almost done we're going to put the chicken back in My chicken is brown, or my vegan chicken is browned on both sides. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and put this in this pan back here to allow them to kind of stay warm while I finish up the sauce. And I'm going to go ahead and put in one cup of button mushrooms a quarter teaspoon of oregano and basil, a teaspoon of garlic, a good fat pinch of black pepper, a good fat pinch of white pepper, and we're going to let this cook. And you may need to add a little bit more oil to it, that's okay. Mushrooms are pretty well cooked. I go ahead and add the green onions and the vegetable base. And that was one quarter cup of green onions, one eighth teaspoon of vegetable base. Next, I'm going to go ahead and put my chickens back in. Turn the heat up too high and add the one cup of Marsala wine. Now I'm going to let the Marsala wine reduce in half and then we'll add our butter. My Marsala wine has reduced in half. So I'll go ahead and add the butter to finish off the sauce. I have killed the heat. You go ahead and add the butter to it. And I'm going to gently stir the butter into the sauce to finish the dish. like so. So the masala wine sauce is done. Now I'm going to go ahead and get this plated for you. So I'll see you back over at the counter. Now that we have the chicken marsala cooked, let's go ahead and plate it. And take two pieces of the vegan chicken. Put it on a couple of nice plates. Now take some of your fettuccine or your bird's nests. And this is the stuff that I had reheated. 
you're going to do is put it on the other side of the plate, just like that. Now, go ahead and take my sauce and I'll spread it evenly across the two dishes. Now that we have them plated, I'm going to go ahead and garnish with a slice of lemon and some fresh cut parsley. And that is my vegan chicken marsala in a butter sauce. I hope you enjoyed this recipe. Please share this recipe with your friends and family on your favorite social media websites. You can find this recipe and a whole lot more at thefatveganchef.com. If you liked this recipe, please consider donating at tfbc.org forward slash donate. Thank you very much and have a good day.